hi guys this is yummy mommy and welcome back to my channel this is my first like real sit down video of 2019 because the other two have been vlogs so i'm a bit nervous because like sitting it's just strange you know with the camera it's like you have a relationship so when you haven't done it for a while it's like what am i doing but anyway thank you so much for coming to watch this video thank you so much for clicking on it to begin with and today's video is like i don't even know i don't know how i'm going to start talking about this video actually when I thought about making this video and honestly the reason why I'm making it is because this is a question that I get so many times in a day like literally five to six people ask me in a day like aspiring content creators or people who are on YouTube people who are on Instagram and they're trying to figure out like how they're gonna grow how they, they can transform their platform from just a hobby to something which is like actually generating revenue for them and because I find that I answer this question so many times I just thought let me record a video about it and this is not to say that I'm now the guru on social media I'm the guru on digital actually i only started my youtube channel from five months ago actually because my first video was on august 6th and now it is january 9th so i've actually been on youtube for only about five months but i've been on instagram for quite a while like maybe two years but only um sort of like a content creator for um maybe around nine to ten months actually no for around a year um, but yeah, so it's a question that I get so often because people are like they've started a YouTube channel and they have not gotten views or they have not gotten the subscribers they thought they would get. And I started my channel um, in August and by November I had 10, my, I had reached my first 10k subscribers, which was a really, really, really amazing for me because honestly, I told you guys when I started my channel, I was so prepared for it to just be me and my sisters watching the videos. And I was like, you know what? Maybe I'm good just on Instagram, but like on YouTube, ah, maybe I'll just be talking to myself. But I was like, let me just do it anyway. And I've really, really been overwhelmed by you guys' response and by the amount of engagement and traction I've gotten on this platform. And so people keep asking me like, how did you manage to grow so fast in that uh, really short time? Because that's 10 subscribers in three months and so what i'm going to share is five very basic tips not basic but they are five very very solid strategies that i can actually put my finger on and say these are the things that have helped me grow because honestly before i even started youtube i had done a whole bunch of research and i'd gotten so much information collected so much um useful data from other youtubers people who had been youtubers for a really long time like especially international ones what i did find was missing is that i couldn't find that same content for local content creators like i couldn't find a local person telling us like this is how you can actually manage to grow and so i felt like that was a gap for me and so i thought let me make this video because i felt i feel like there are very many content creators who are trying to start up a channel and who don't know like what are the things they should do for them to be able to grow their channel so these six these five tips i feel are the things which have been most crucial for me have helped for helping me actually get to the 10k subscribers as fast as i did in the first three months so uh let me get to them without much further ado i really hope this video helps somebody if you are not a content creator or you're not interested in this topic i wouldn't take it badly if you don't watch just give it a thumbs up and you can wait for the next video but for whoever this will help even if it's one person i really hope that it will be um useful for you in your journey so let's get right into it and i'm not saying these in any particular order because honestly if i think about them they are all extremely important like they were all extremely important in helping me especially in my very very first few months of youtubing of youtube being is that a word i don't know anyway i feel like all five were really important so they're not in any order so if you really need this information make sure you watch till the end because the fifth one could be just as important as the, as the first one for you so the first thing that i feel helped me grow and reach that number and get as much traction as i did is consistency and i cannot stress this enough like honestly in whatever aspect of your life and youtube is no exception consistency is so important and the reason for that is that consistency builds trust when people come to your channel and they see a good video from you and they see that you're consistent with that uh you know the content that you're giving them and you're consistent with the quality of the content that you're giving them they trust you and they'll subscribe to your channel you'll actually come to find that there are some channels or there are some people who actually get very many views but not very many subscribers and the reason for that is because people want will come and watch in those one one time that you give them a video but they don't trust you enough to actually subscribe to your channel but subscribers are important because if you're planning to work with brands that's what they use to be able to you know say okay this is a person who i can work with this is a person who has a following so you need to be able to build that kind of trust with your subscribers and that helps you also increase your views it also helps you increase your um, relationship with your followers and with your subscribers and that's really important when it actually comes to brand collaborations but also when it comes to just knowing that you're having an impact on people for me it's really really important for me to know the kind of person i'm speaking to see when i look at the 
for example the profile of the people who are my subscribers i know for example they are mothers i know that they are women primarily like 75 percent of my audience is women i know that they um are probably city dwellers and that information is important for me so that when i'm creating my content i keep it in mind that this person is probably a person who's in nairobi she's probably a new mom so it's, it's like content that will actually help them and is useful so the more consistent i am the more i'm able to get those subscribers the more i'm able to profile them and keep creating content that makes sense for them so consistency is extremely key whether you tell people you're going to be doing a video once a month do that once a month or if you say it's going to be twice a week do that twice a week or if it's going to be once every year even okay no once every year is just too much please i mean depending on what your schedule allows for me i'm a full-time digital content creator so i can probably spend more time creating content than maybe somebody who has a nine-to-five job and that's okay but as long as you're actually consistent in giving people content if you want to actually be a content creator then that will definitely definitely help you gain traction number two and number two is very distinct from number one but may sound the same number two is frequency now you can be consistent but not necessarily be frequent and what I mean by that is, like I've just said, you can tell people I'm a content creator, but I'm only going to release a video once a month, or I'm going to only do one once every two months, as opposed to somebody else who says, for example, I'm going to do two videos a week. For me, for example, I aim to actually do two whole videos a week. Sometimes I even do three videos a week, but like two should be my minimum. Two is what I actually aim for. So if you are a content creator, and even not even a content creator necessarily, but in like visual media, especially, you know, even with TV and stuff like that, the more often you give people something to watch the more they crave you the more they want to watch you because it's like something which is familiar in their mind it's like episodes of things so i don't want people to forget me because if i release a video today and then i release another one like two months from now there have been so many other things in between by the time someone sees that new video they're like oh oh yeah that is that chick from that time but they can't actually build any form of like storyline with what you're trying to tell them which can be a problem depending on the kind of content you're actually um you know putting out there so i feel like frequency has been really important for me in being able to build my platform i've been from the first week that i um i started my youtube channel to today i don't think there's any week that i have failed to put up at least one or two videos actually most weeks have been two videos some even three videos and um except with the exception of christmas because after vlogmas i was tired and i just said to take a break but for me that has worked and for me I, I found that the more content i give people the more content they want to see from me the more they're actually keen to subscribe to my channel because they know that i'm going to keep giving them stuff often so consistency and frequency have helped me i feel be able to get the kind of traction that i've gotten in the first five months of my journey and especially in those first three months number three engagement not this kind of engagement the kind of engagement that we are having right now, the kind of engagement that we are talking about. More and more, you are finding that brands are preferring to work with people who are closely, like, re not related, what am I saying? Who have some kind of connection, who have some kind of relationship with their followers and their subscribers. It's not enough for me to just have, say I have, okay, 15,000 subscribers. For me, I want to know who my subscriber is. Like, when you guys comment down below, that's why in my videos, I'm always telling you guys, please comment, please like, please let me know, like, your thoughts, your ideas, you know, what you guys want to see from me. Because I want us to have some kind of relationship. I'm always telling my husband, by the way, that for me, I don't feel like I'm, I can ever be lonely anywhere. Because as long as I have my phone, it's like I have 15,000 friends or 30,000 friends on my phone because you guys are literally always there like giving me feedback and I want to respond to you guys so when people um comment on your youtube video go through those comments and like respond as much as you possibly can i understand that it's a lot i know it gets very overwhelming even for me with my few numbers as in i find it really really overwhelming sometimes to be able to respond to everyone but i do my best to at least like each comment like i go i i see what people are saying and so that what i am the content that i'm creating for you makes sense because i don't want to create it and then i'm the only one watching it me and my sisters and my mom and dad so i really want it to be content that makes sense and for that to happen we need to keep engaging so for me that's extremely important even on instagram because some of you guys followed me here from instagram so you also know on instagram i do my best to respond to all my dms try and respond or like every single comment just so you know that i'm a person who is here and i see you as a person you not you guys as a group of fifteen thousand subscribers you as a person so when you write and tell me something i'm able to be like oh hey harriet thank you so much for your comment i really appreciate what you're saying either i agree with it or i don't agree with it and it makes some sort of sense that way i'm able to give you guys value and you're also adding value to my life because you guys really do add value to my life so engagement was really really key for me number four 
um i should have written these things down oh number four. Oh, and this one was so 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 important cross marketing oh no let's take that again cross-platform marketing so as i've mentioned a lot of you guys followed me here from instagram because before i started my youtube channel i was really really just um focusing my engagement and my content on instagram so by the time i was starting my youtube channel i already had about twenty-five thousand followers or twenty thousand or they about followers on instagram so i decided to use that uh like fan base to be able to grow my youtube fan base and let me tell you something it worked because the more every time i would post a video on youtube i would go on instagram and say hey i have a new video out and i'll do that on my insta stories on my igtv on my instagram feed and actually when i look through my trends and analysis on youtube it actually shows me that the number one source of traffic for my channel and for the views i get on my videos is instagram so i know for a fact that a lot of the people who saw me on instagram because they are looking at my channel they're looking not on my channel rather but they're looking at my content on instagram i have to keep telling them please go and look at my content on youtube because chances are if they are following me on instagram they already like my content they already like my personality or my family and they really like to see um the kind of content that i produce so this is just giving them another space that they can actually follow you on so cross platform marketing is extremely important and don't have to be instagram me for example i'm not a twitter person i'm not a facebook person but if you are you need to use those platforms like the fan base you have already created somewhere else or even if it's like offline if you are like a student leader in university or something and you have already people who look up to you tell them hey by the way i've opened my youtube channel please can you check it out or you know if you go tweet to people what do people do on twitter I'm so shady. I'm so sorry, you guys. But anyway, cross-platform marketing is extremely important. I feel like that really gave me a boost in those first three months to get to the 10K because I had a lot of people on Instagram already who are following me. So they just like, they switched. They followed me here. And the final thing that I would say has greatly contributed, and I think, I think maybe this is like the most important. This one in consistency, I would say is the most important. And that is content value. I can't stress this one enough like i can't there's not i don't even I, I can't stress it enough what are you opening a youtube channel for what are you planning to speak about on your youtube channel you know the funny thing is that i get so many people who dm me and they're like hey joan i really want to start a youtube channel please tell me what should i talk about and i'm like i don't know i don't know you i don't know what you should talk about but i understand that quagmire because probably you don't want to start talking about something that you think people would be interested in but let me encourage you People will gravitate towards the kind of content that they need. And I feel like whatever it is you want to talk about, there are people who want to watch that thing. With the exception of like if you're talking about something completely dumb. But what I mean is that if you want to do makeup, even if there are a thousand makeup channels right now, do makeup. If your content is good, people will come and watch. It's not like there's a finite, you know, amount of channels that somebody can subscribe to. They will still come and watch. If you want to do hair, do hair. If you want to do clothes, do clothes. If you want to do motherhood, do motherhood. I know when I was opening my channel, I really felt pressure like should i just stick to one topic should i do more than one and i just decided you know what i'm gonna um for the first at least six months just see and feel what kind of content people seem to enjoy on my channel and then after that maybe i'll decide to narrow it down and get a niche but until then i'm just going to speak about the way i I, you know for me i basically just post my life i talk about my experiences i talk about the things i'm going through whether it's motherhood whether it's marriage whether it's my skincare whether it's clothes i just talk about whatever it is i want to talk about and i feel like the people who have subscribed to my channel do so because they find some kind of value in the content that i'm bringing them so your content value needs to be like somebody has to be getting something from your channel when they come because people don't want people don't want their time wasted for me personally the, the videos that i love 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 on youtube are the videos which are actually teaching me something so for example i have learned how to do my makeup a hundred percent on joanna kinudia's channel no shame no shame everything i know about makeup i know from joanna kinudia's channel people on youtube or people who are watching will sacrifice production value for content value do i need to say that again people will sacrifice production value for content value in other words if your content is prime it doesn't matter if you don't have the best light it doesn't matter if you don't have the best makeup and you're not like you know dressed fancy wherever you are whatever it is if you're saying something which makes sense to people and that helps people they will definitely still come and watch i really really hope that this video has been helpful to someone out there if you are not a content creator please feel free to share this video with any content creators or aspiring content creators that you know or um social media people who might be interested in this uh information i would really really appreciate that and then comment down below and let me know why you subscribe to my channel if you are and if you're not 
why are you not subscribed to my channel like just tell me just let me know i'm a big girl i can take it <laughs> anyway i hope you've liked this video if you do please give it a thumbs up please comment down below with any thoughts any feedback that you'd like and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i would really really appreciate it until next time it's been yummy mommy bye